Hey, what's up guys? I originally was using Authelia for single sign-on and two-factor authentication for some of the services I self-host and came across Authentic. As you can see from this comparison chart, Authentic seems to have a lot going for it. I especially appreciate the graphic user interface in comparison to editing files manually, which can get a bit tedious. Anyways, I looked far and wide on YouTube but couldn't find a video demonstrating how to set up an app in Authentic once you got it up and running and the documentation can be confusing or not clear enough. So in this video I'll be giving you a quick breakdown on how I did it. This video assumes you already have Docker, Docker Compose, Nginx Proxy Manager, and Authentic all installed and running. If not, check the source material as well as the YouTube videos by Awesome Open Source or DB Tech on Nginx Proxy Manager installation and by Ibercorp on Authentic installation all linked in the description below. First, you want to be sure you have DNS record set for all your apps slash microservices at your DNS provider that you want to access from the internet, especially an entry for Authentic, you know, the service we're working on right now. So in Cloudflare, here's my entry for Authentic. Then you want to set up a proxy host in Nginx Proxy Manager that points to your Authentic instance, if you haven't already, and verify you're able to access it successfully by domain name in your browser. So for example, here's my Authentic entry. And I'll let you see the details. There isn't really much that I have going on here. Just my domain name for Authentic that we set up in Cloudflare. The internal IP address I have it pointing to. I have it publicly accessible. Nothing in custom locations. With SSL, I have my SSL certificate picked. And I turned all these options on. And nothing in advance. Now I like to test out this proxy host in a private or incognito tab just to be sure I'm not pulling up any cached or temporary content. Nice, it works. Now that we have it loaded, let's log in and start configuring an application. All right, once we've logged into Authentic, you want to go ahead and open up your admin interface. From here, you want to go into your applications. And the first thing we'll do is verify that our outpost is correctly configured. Now we'll be using the Authentic Embedded Outpost. And you want to go ahead and click the Edit icon here under Actions. Now in here, what you want to verify is the authentic host. For me, this is line 3. And for the authentic host, what you want is either the proxy host that you entered in Nginx Proxy Manager or the DNS record that you entered into Cloudflare or whoever your DNS provider is. But it has to be the fully qualified domain name. Now you can verify your fully qualified domain name is in fact entered correctly because it will actually have it listed right underneath the name for your embedded host. Under health and version, you should have a green check mark. Okay, next you want to go ahead and click on providers and click on create. Here you're presented with several options. You can create an LDAP provider, a OAuth2 or OpenID provider, a proxy provider, a SAML provider, or a SAML provider for metadata. We'll be creating a simple provider and choose the proxy provider. Click Next. A new provider in the name field, enter a name that will be easily matched to the application that we'll be creating in the next step. For the next step, you can choose either proxy, forward auth single application, or forward auth domain level. Now if you choose proxy, Authentic will act as the reverse proxy itself, at which point you would have to set external hosts to your fully qualified domain name for Authentic, and your internal host would be the internal IP address for the app that you're trying to reach. Now because we're using Nginx Proxy Manager, I will go ahead and choose forward auth single application. With single application, you'll have more granularity and control than you would with domain level. 
we don't need to use Authentic's built-in reverse proxy. So for the external host, you want to go ahead and put the external fully qualified domain for the internal application that you're trying to reach. So I went ahead and entered mine there. For token validity, you can leave this as is, or you can change it to however many hours, minutes, or seconds you want this token to be valid. For me, I'll go ahead and leave it as is. And for now, we don't need to do anything in advanced protocol settings. Go ahead and click Finish. Now you'll have this warning that the provider is not assigned to any application. That's because we haven't created it yet. So go ahead and click on Applications. Under Applications, we want to go ahead and click on the Create button. Now in Create Application, you want to go ahead and enter a name that will closely associate with the provider so that way they're easy to match. So I went ahead and entered the name Speed Test. And for the slug, I also entered the name Speed Test. For a provider, you're going to want to go ahead and click the provider we created earlier and click Create. Now we've created our application. If you go back to Providers, you'll notice that the warning is gone and it says that the application is assigned to the provider. Now we want to go back to Outposts and click the Edit button under Actions for the Embedded Outposts. And you'll see under Applications that the application we just set up is listed. Go ahead and highlight that. And click Update. And as you can see, the embedded outpost has speed tests listed in the providers. As you add applications to the embedded outpost, the respective providers will be listed here under Providers. Next, we want to go back to Providers. We want to go ahead and click the name of the provider. If you scroll down under Setup, you'll notice there are several reverse proxies listed. We're using Nginx Proxy Manager, so we'll go ahead and click that. You'll see this snippet of code. What you want to do here is highlight and select all of this and copy. Next, we want to go ahead and go back to Nginx Proxy Manager and find the application that you have a proxy host for and click Edit. Go to the Advanced Settings tab and paste that code snippet that we just copied from Authentic into the custom Nginx configuration. Once you've pasted the snippet of code into your custom Nginx configuration, you want to scroll down to the proxy pass section and change out the fully qualified domain name that you have for your authentic instance to its internal IP address and port number instead. Then click Save. Now if we navigate to our app's fully qualified domain name, we should be presented with a prompt to log in by Authentic. Hey, look at that, it worked. Now let's verify we can actually log in. And success. We successfully authenticated with Authentic and our application loaded just fine. All right, guys, if you have any comments or questions, leave them down in the comments section below. Go ahead and hit that like button if you liked this video. If you didn't, go ahead and hit the dislike button and be sure to subscribe if you want to see any more videos I put out. Once again, thanks for watching.